Unraveling, that's a moot point, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we aim to make English learning easy and fun for you. Today, we're diving into a phrase you might have heard in movies, TV shows, or even in a debate. That's a moot point. What does it mean, and how can you use it in your everyday English conversations? Stay with us to find out. The term moot point has a fascinating history and a meaning that has evolved over time. Originally, it referred to a hypothetical case argued by law students for practice. The key here is that it was debatable, not meant to have a direct application in real life at that moment. Today, when we say something is a moot point, we're usually talking about an issue that is debatable or doubtful but also relevant to the current situation. Sometimes, it's because the issue has already been resolved, and other times, because it's purely hypothetical and doesn't impact the actual scenario. How do you use moot point correctly in a sentence? Here's a simple formula. Mention the issue or argument first and then explain why it's a moot point. For example, whether we could have saved more money last year is a moot point now that we've already invested in the new project. Arguing about who would have won if the game hadn't been rained out is a moot point. In both cases, the discussion or argument doesn't have practical significance at the moment, which is why it's considered moot. It's important to note that moot point can be confused with mute point. Remember, mute means silent or unable to speak, which is not what we're talking about here. Moot, on the other hand, directly relates to the idea of debatability and relevance. Additionally, while moot point often carries a connotation of irrelevance, it can still be a topic worth discussing for academic or intellectual exploration the key is understanding the context in which it's used. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, that's a moot point. We hope this video has shed light on its meaning, usage, and nuances. Remember, mastering a language involves not just learning grammar and vocabulary but also understanding the context and subtleties of phrases like this one. Keep practicing. And don't hesitate to use moot point in your next debate or discussion. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.